Hey, <laughs> here I am again. Uh, I don't know. I just been having a little fun with these videos today. Um, I'm in my car, just leaving the church parking lot. Um, heading up to the post office. I think on one of the earlier little videos I did, I told you I had to do some uh, a sympathy card and a request for a membership uh, letter to another church. So I'm heading up to the post office and sorry if this video is uh, jiggling all around. It's, I guess it's the mount that I have attached to the windshield. Um, it's very uh, sensitive to bumps. Um, if any of you have any thoughts or ideas on a, a better mount that might be more uh, able to take those sorts of bumps and things because you know I live in Michigan and we wow that last video quit suddenly so I'm going to continue right here so I'll get in the room and you know if they've had a medical diagnosis I'll say well you know any news are you getting well or when are you going to have any treatment or you know I'll just try to in inquire as their pastor and then a lot of times I'll say well is there may I share this with the church family because I don't want to assume I want to get their permission before I go telling the church anything because they might not want everyone to hear it or maybe you know if I share it on our uh, Facebook page which I probably wouldn't but if if they wanted me to like if they posted on Facebook publicly then maybe I would share that but I probably wouldn't just take it on myself and put it out there because it's really their news to share but um, so anyway we would visit for uh, just a few minutes to kind of get caught up on things and then generally I would say well hey I've got some scripture I'd like to share with you today and I probably have six or seven go-to passages that I like to read when I go and visit somebody um, in that kind of situation. Um, maybe it depends on the situation as to which one I would read. But I, uh, I feel like it's important to read Scripture and let, let the Holy Spirit use the Word of God to do what He needs to in the life of, of that person. And then I might say, well, I'd love to pray for you. Um, is there anything specific that you'd like me to lift up in prayer? And uh, let them share if they have something. Sometimes they don't, and that's okay. Uh, so after that, um, I try not to stay very long, maybe 10 minutes, 15 at the most. Um, but if they want to keep talking and keep me there, unless I have somewhere else I need to be, I'll stay and I'll keep, you know, visiting with them for a while. But uh, that's kind of what I do on a pastoral visit uh, to a medical facility. And even if someone's shut in, you know, in home, at home, or uh, it, you just kind of have to be aware of the situation and know how to read the room. Um, Especially if you go to the hospital, if somebody's in there, and then you've got medical people that come in. Sometimes they come in, and what they need is not urgent, and they'll 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 let me stay and do what I need to do. But sometimes it is, you know, the doctor's making rounds, or the patient needs medicine medicine switched out, or something, and then you just kind of step out of the way and let them do what they need to do, uh, because. You know that's pretty important if they get that done and especially if they're gonna talk with the doctor that I'm not there distracting them from what they need to know anyway those are just some thoughts on pastoral visitation um, maybe you're wondering well do you visit people wearing a hoodie <laughs> sometimes maybe um, uh, I'll I will put on my badge, um, 
and sometimes if it's not that cold I'll take my hoodie off and just leave it in the car and run in because I'm not outside that long to get that cold and so my shirt underneath usually is nicer it's sort of a business casual kind of thing so anyway um so I'll leave it at that I'm just uh, almost to my first visit I'm gonna try to get three in this afternoon and then hopefully it's off till Sunday Christmas Eve day all right I hope you found the video helpful always leave comments questions suggestions I'd be glad to interact with you